Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Diamondback DB9 Gen 4. This has to be the smallest 9mm handgun that I am aware of. It's about the size of those micro 380 handguns. Very small, very lightweight, would make a nice pocket carry gun. But this is the Gen 4 model and many people are saying I didn't know there was a Gen 4. Like Diamondback came out with Four generations of this DB9. Yep, that's true. Now, the first generation, I know in particular, there was a lot of excitement about it. People said that this is basically a miniature Glock, but it had some problems. And throughout the years, Diamondback was able to make improvements on the gun, correct some of the issues, and now we have the Gen 4, and they claim that this is a winner. Not much negative to speak of with the gen 3 but they really like the gen 4 models and that's what this is released in 2019 right around the first of the year and then uh, people started getting them into their hands right around march but here it is polymer frame does hold six rounds of nine millimeter does come with two base plates one magazine two base plates one of the new features is an orange follower does have the extended magazine also in the case comes a trigger lock and then a flat base plate magazine that's connected with the trigger lock but that flat piece right there is in case you want to flatter and then a a soft case right here right basically for transporting in a range bag but i will mention the magazine ejection it comes out rather quickly and forcefully but getting that ejected quickly I, I i have to maneuver my thumb and push really hard uh, maybe that'll loosen up over time or maybe it's a feature that was designed for pocket carry it has glock interchangeable sights now another improvement that they made was they made large dot sights compared to the gen 3 model and then there is an orange front sight so they are larger kind of a, a u-notch there all right, and they are steel, and they can be changed out with Glock 42, 43 sights if you want to add night sights. Little beaver tail there. Another improvement they made was the grip texturing, was with the grip texturing. The, the diamond pattern was on the other generations. I think that was because it's branded a diamond back. They had diamond patterns on there. This is actually really nice texturing. Not overly aggressive, but enough to get a good, firm grip on the gun, whether your hands are wet. Uh, blood whatever the case you know it feels it has a nice feel to it extremely thin and once again very lightweight front serrations for those press checks 3.1 inch barrel no accessory rail anything like that and another improvement they made was that this has a slide stop but the slide stop is primarily for a locked back slide all right and that is new some of the other generations don't have that at all but i will also mention that to attempt to lock it back with your hand it can be done but it's not easy all right so you have to have the perfect position and lock it back but it's really not meant for that but there it is diamondback db9 the trigger i measure at seven and a half pounds right around there and that's another improvement they made it heavier than the gen 3 and i think that's because they recognize they, they call this the perfect pocket carrying pistol and i'm not going to argue with that i haven't shot it yet but we'll see i shot the gen 1 many years ago I, I look forward to this but it does have a crisp break a little heavier trigger but here is one of the major improvements right there short reset not audible at all, but I imagine it would be a fast shooter. It does have some texturing right there. Now, the smallest 9mm that I'm aware of is the Car PM9. But let's take a look at the slide length. A little bit longer with the car, which amazes me, by the way. The Diamondback is that small. And believe it or not, the Gen 4 is a little bit like an eighth inch longer than the Gen 3. So the Gen 3 is actually just a little bit smaller. And we'll take a look at the grip. All right, now the car has the mag in there, but you can see it's a little bit of a wider grip. This is very, very thin. 
And it's cheap too. Four, or I'm sorry, 269 is the MSRP right around 210 to 240 will get you the Diamondback DB9. We'll get it on scale. Let's take it apart and uh, check it out here. We'll go ahead and it does break down just like a Glock. This happened to me a few times. i pull the trigger first this time and see if that'll do it. And get those takedown levers. There we go. All right. So here is the uh, here are the internals. Now this has changed a little bit primarily because of the addition to the slide lock. And here we have a single spring captured uh, recoil spring with a metal guide rod and a 3.1 inch barrel. Very small, very compact. Actually, the the width of the slide is 0.81 inches, and I find that amazing. Let me do this again. Sometimes you have to get this perfect, especially with these small guns. You know, we take we take for granted that you know they're small, they should function, and everything should be the same as large gun, but that's not true. They pack a lot into that. 13 and 5 8 ounces. Let's go ahead and put six rounds in here. What do we say? 13 and 5 8 ounces. Here we have just regular 115 grain target loads. And also, this gun is plus P rated, which is another improvement over the previous generations. Plus P. I personally wouldn't, but should not be a problem in our loaded weight with six rounds is one pound and one eighth ounce we move that to just ounces 16 and an eighth ounce there's our carry around 16 and a half ounces fully loaded with seven rounds and if we compare that with the car pm9 it's 20 and one eighth so four ounces lighter than the car pm9 whether it will perform as well as the PM9 is yet to be seen, but I will mention it's very small, very lightweight, and very affordable. And they say they got it right with this one. We'll have to check it out for ourselves. And if you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.